Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Kate, from SI Rookie of the Year to <laughs> her second year. Congratulations, Thank Kelly you. Rohrbach. Thank you. Swim City. It's insane right now. It is pretty crazy. I think people are just trying to get shelter from the rain. No, they're coming to see you guys. Yeah, about that. It could be 80 <laughs> degrees, it could be LA right now, and they would still be coming here. What's it been like for you? Come off Rookie of the Year. What's the second year been like for you? Much more relaxed, much more, I'm much more comfortable. I know what I'm. I don't. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I have a better sense of what I'm doing. So it's been, it's just been icing on the cake. When you win Rookie of the Year, obviously Sports Illustrated, this incredible brand, everybody reads it. Every male person reads it. <laughs> what was it like for you winning Rookie of the Year? How did it change your life? I was so shocked because last year um, was my first year modeling, and um, Sports Illustrated was my first professional shoot. So I, um, I was, I was, I was expecting to not even be in the magazine. I was like, they're totally gonna cut me. I have no idea what I'm doing. And so just to be in it was amazing. And then you know to be rookie of the year was. I was like, are you guys sure? Really? Was there was there a mix up on the computer? Did the computers crash? So now the goals are changing. You're like, now I want to be on the cover. <laughs> Speaking of the cover, how awesome was it? How what cool. they did? Right, seriously, Great. embodying and embracing all the female bodies. It's got to be. You've got to be proud to be part of a brand that does that, right? I, I, I've been saying it all week. I said I, the thing I like about um, Sports Illustrated is not only are they in the conversation for change, they're usually starting it, especially when it comes to women, which I really like. Who are you? When you look around at the girls that you get the model with, who are you a huge fan of? Well, I've become a, a huge fan of all the girls that I've become friends with, and um, you know, prior to that, um, I always, I've always really liked Chrissy Teigen. She's just such a sweet, amazing person. And then Haley and I became really close last year, and um, I call her my model sister because everyone's like, "Wait, is that? Are you? Are you? Who's Haley? Like, people can't tell us apart." And I'm like, "I don't know." It, 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 so. I couldn't be happier for her. She's really just the sweetest girl, and um, she's she deserves it in spades. She oh, she's so lovely. You've got something really incredible happening right now, Baywatch. I do. How <laughs> dude? I mean, I love it when I see someone who's modeling transition to a movie career. Talk to me about how the Baywatch thing happens, and you're working with Zach and The Rock. How cool is that? How cool is that, right? Well, the Baywatch thing happened because I was actually acting a little bit before I was modeling. I was, I'm sort of actress model in reverse. Most girls model and act and I acted then modeled. My agent, my acting agent suggested that I start, not, not that I start modeling, he's like, do you want to meet with the modeling agency? And I was like, yeah, why not? And so that's how the whole Sports Illustrated thing came about. And so um, I've been doing the two simultaneously for the last year and then the acting for the, probably the past three years. I studied, it at, I studied acting at Georgetown. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so I've been doing it for a while. You Actually, perfect segue. You're not your average model. A Georgetown student, Georgetown graduate. When you look at your profile, what message does it send to young women out there in terms of making it and doing what you want to do? Like Taylor Swift last night is talking all about don't let anyone else yeah. take credit for your fame. What, type, what does your story lend in terms of messaging? Um, I think, yeah, I've never even asked that question. That's a nice question. Um, that's what's up. Somebody came prepared. God, Somebody once, did not. my IQ is actually <laughs> right above 100. Yes. Um, I think in terms of messaging, it's um, I guess the sky's the limit. Um, there's there's no ceiling to what you can do when you set your mind to it, um, and a bit of think it, and it will come into fruition. I guess I I, I you know obviously I never expected the trajectory I'd had, but. Um, I took a risk in the sense that I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go for this, and if I fail, oh well. And if you know, if it grows well, even better. So I think, I think that would be what comes from my story a little bit is just leap, because you don't really know what's gonna happen. Have you experienced The Rock's hijinks on set yet? What's a hijinks? He's supposedly like the biggest prankster on set. No. Oh. oh my God, I've heard The Rock That's from hilarious. everybody is Gosh, out of his mind thank you on for set. You're telling me now. I'm gonna like look out for it. Now when he like I show up on Monday and he's like you're not in the movie, I'll be like hijinks. Are you hijinxing me? <laughs> <laughs> How exciting is it to, to revamp the franchise? I mean, Baywatch was the number one watch show in the world. What's it like being part of that franchise? It's unbelievable. I mean, it's 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 we're doing it differently. We're doing it a little bit differently than how the series was in the best way possible. We're making it. It's an R-rated comedy, so it's we're sort of. 
stretching the limit, if you will. I can't wait. Which, which, and the limit of Baywatch was our, the show was already so stretched, but we're, we're taking it even further. And you take over Pam Anderson's role, right, CJ? I do, yeah. Crazy to you? Like, oh my God, I'm playing who Pam Anderson played, like the most, <laughs> one of the most legendary uh, centerfolds of all time. I get to replace her? Uh, uh, that's Crazy. Funny. Yeah, I mean, I'm just so happy to be a part of the film, and um, it's such a great team of people, and, um, you know, the script's amazing, the director, Seth Gordon, is amazing, I mean, it, we had a table read on Sunday, and just having everyone read it and watching it come to life was really special, so I don't even care what my role would be, I'm just happy to be a part of something so special.